Now please bear with me the background noise. That of the generator. Now this is the urinary bladder. This is the uterus in longitudinal section, that of the nulliparis, young female, and uh, uterus mayus 8.1 centimeter in length, 2.9 centimeter in uterus diameter. The endometrial canal is normal, myometrium is normal, no focal lesion is seen, no calcification. Endometrial canal is central and clear. Cervix, vagina. So this is the longitudinal section of the uh, Lilliparis uterus, and this is the transverse section. This is the transverse section in which you are seeing that this is the uterus, this is the endometrial canal, and this is the ovary, right ovary. You will see uh, if you concentrate that there are a few tiny follicles. This is a small follicle in this right ovary. Now towards the left side, the left ovary is not visualized, rather we see a cystic area that is complex, cystic and solid with multiple echogenic cities as well as multiple uh, septa, these are, this is the thick septa, this, these are few thin septa, this is a thick ecogenic area, no shadowing, this is a more brighter, thick, coarse ecogenic area with no posterior shadowing. These are all islands of ecogenic area. And this is the cystic area, see the posterior wall enhancement. that this is the ecogenic area within this is to give uh, posterior shadow as well. Now this, the, this shadow that you are seeing is coming from this ecogenic area and this ecogenic area is not shadowing, these are few other ecogenic areas and this cyst is approximately I will say 10 into 8 centimeters and uh, in a complex complicated cyst and you see that the ecogenic areas are uh, seen attached with the anterior wall of this cystic area. Now this is the anterior wall. The posterior wall is cystic and this is a fluid and uh, this dark uh, shadow from this ecogenic area within this is suggestive of uh, possibly that this is a dermoid cyst. Not only this, we also see this is uh, what we see at the uh, anterior wall of this cyst. So this is the finding from the anterior wall. Here we are again. And there are other findings of that when I come downwards are uh, dense coarse echogenic areas. And in the dependent region, mostly in the dependent region, peritoneal cavity. Yeah, sorry, pelvic. Uh, independent region of the cyst. I see that this is the cyst in the region of the left adenexa. These are the glycogenic islands with no posterior shadowing. This is the fluid part within this cyst. And these are the ecogenic. This is the ecogenic area giving posterior shadowing. This is the posterior shadow. Now, on the other uh, right hand side of your surface, there is again a thin walled cystic area with fluid. This is fluid, and uh, this is this, this is this is an ecogenic area 
with uh, internal echoes, thin septas within this cystic area. Now there is no calcification seen as such and uh, there is no fluid seen in the pelvic cavity. This is the cyst, this is the fluid portion. This is the cyst. This is the same cyst, but here I have focused the most anterior most part of the cyst. So the most uh, probable differential uh, for this is, will be either a dermoid cyst or a complicated uh, tubo ovarian mass uh, that of the may be infective. And the third option will be cystadenoma.